Hello. So, next on the list for the training course is to do turns. So we are flying just north of Wickham Air Park over the fields of northern Buckinghamshire. And we are going to do some exercises. So first up on the list is level turns. So we are flying along with uh, somewhere between 2000 and 2500 RPM. We're just above 2500 feet. We're about 90 knots traveling north and we're going to execute a right turn. So obviously to turn we bank the wings over and we want to align the turn coordinator's wing onto the standard rate one turn marker. So I'm just going to bank over and then we watch the vertical speed and we balance the vertical speed as well. Okay, so this is all just about keeping the aeroplane turning at the same rate and maintaining altitude. Yeah, so we dropped a little bit. As we rolled into the turn, we lost some lift because obviously the, the, the forces are off to one side now. So I'm not doing a very good job of this because I'm busy talking and pointing at things. So we need to climb ever so gently to get it back to two and a half thousand feet. So all you're looking to do is align this marker and keep the vertical speed the same. Okay, so we're just coming around to the south. I'll do a 180 degree turn, it's just enough to practice it, isn't it? Okay, so then you anticipate the roll out, so you roll the aeroplane back out, and we're now travelling south. We've done 180 degrees, rate one, level turn. Okay, next on the list is a climbing turn. So it's basically the same again, but we're going to climb at the same time. So we need to use the throttle to maintain speed, a target airspeed, during the climb. So if we begin climbing, so I'm pulling back gently, going at 1,000 feet a minute, and we're going to use the throttle to maintain 80 knots. We probably wouldn't be able to maintain 1,000 feet a minute, but we'll have a go. And then we're going to turn in exactly the same way. Yeah, we're not going to be able to maintain the speed. So we're now doing three things at once. We're maintaining speed with throttle. So we're managing about 70 knots at 1,000 feet a minute. Well, not quite. So we're not going to be... Let's go for 75 feet a minute, 70 feet a minute, that kind of range. So you're now looking to balance the turn rate and the climb rate and the speed at the same time. So a much more comfortable rate of climb in the Cessna would obviously be about four or five hundred feet a minute looking at this. So again, this is us finding out along the way. So if we hold 500 feet a minute on the vertical speed, and we can happily keep going at about 75 knots, seems to be right in its kind of sweet spot. So we're just coming round to north, so we'll roll back out of our turn. And just keep on climbing for a moment. Just to get to three and a half thousand feet. Which works out quite nicely for us. Okay, so then we'll level out. So holding about 80 knots, three and a half thousand feet, travelling north now and we're level again. So that was a climbing turn. Now descending turns, there are several types of descending turn. The first one is a gliding descending turn. So what we're going to do is cut the engine or pull the engine back to idle and essentially the aeroplane is then gliding. And as soon as we do that we'll begin to, we'll, we'll drop the nose to maintain airspeed so we'll use our attitude to maintain airspeed. So we'll try to hold 80 knots Okay, so I'm going to cut the engine back. So you can see the indicated airspeed dropping off to 80 knots. So we go nose down now. And we'll begin our turn. So again, we're doing the same trick. So we are using, in a glide, we are using attitude to maintain airspeed. So if we're slowing down, we drop the nose gently. If we're speeding up, we pull up the nose gently. So let's get back to our 
The one thing you need to be careful of is the outside wing is going faster than the inside wing, so the plane will have a tendency to roll into turns, because there's more lift on the outside. Okay, so we're rolling round, or turning slowly, sorry, slowly. So we're holding about 80 knots just by using attitude to do that. We'll just make sure we do this until we get around to south. And we'll pull out of our... so I'll increase the throttle. Level the plane up. And we're back in normal flight again. Okay, so... What's next? Uh, a powered turning descent. So we're going to maintain not as much power but some power and descend we will increase speed this time and we roll and we watch the indicated airspeed so at the moment it's there we go so we'll hold about 90 knots i guess we are still just descending about two three hundred feet a minute i don't want to have this accelerate too much during this manoeuvre, so... So we're running about 2,000 RPM and it's quite happily doing that. So again we're maintaining the rate one turn so the wing is on the mark on the turn coordinator. Notice we're also... you don't have to worry so much on the Cessna 152, the tail tends to follow the fuselage through the turns so you're not seeing the turn coordinator or you're not seeing the aeroplane slide or side slip. Okay, so we're just coming around to north. We'll pull out once we're going north. Okay. So we're almost down to 2,000 feet. Still got some room to play with. So now we're going to do a... Actually, I'm going to climb back up, so... Let's go and increase the throttle. We're going to climb back up to 3,000 feet. So the next thing on our list while we're climbing, we'll just talk about this along the way, is going to be a flaps down descending turn. So it's almost there's almost no notes on it in the book. It just says basically see the previous exercise but complete this with the flaps down, which we will do. So we're losing quite a lot of airspeed here. Where I'm trying to rush to get back to 3,000 feet, which is quite dangerous, so I'm just dropping the nose gently to get the speed back up to at least 60 knots. So we're coming back up to 3,000 feet. Once we get to 3,000 feet, we'll start the exercise again. We've drifted slightly off to the right, so we're going north again now, which is perfect. And we've gone through 3,000 feet. Okay, so we're back into our cruise. Right, so we'll pull the throttle back to about 2,000 RPM, and we will drop the flaps to positions and use the attitude of the aircraft to hold the speed and return. So obviously because you've got the flaps down you've got more drag therefore you can just descend at a, a greater rate. He says famously. So again you can do the flaps descent with and without power so we can do the same trick I'll combine it so we're not saying for ages going round and round in circles. So I've gone into a glide Let's go for full flaps. So look at the speed coming off. So we can actually come down remarkably steeply. So we're coming down over a thousand feet a minute and not accelerating. Yeah? So I'm going to pull it out of this. But we'll probably be round to south by the time we get to 2,000 feet, I would imagine. So yeah, we'll, we'll keep going. Okay, so lift the flaps, open the throttle.
Okay, so the last one on the list of turning exercises is really a side slipping turn. So again, descending turn, but you side slip during it. So it's it's worth pointing this out, you side slip out of the turns, which forces the aeroplane to go nose high and forces the aeroplane to fall, it to, to slide into the turn. Side slipping turns were really used before aircraft had flaps. Obviously now we've got flaps, we can descend at a fast, at a greater rate by increasing the drag on the aeroplane by using the flaps to do it. But before some aircraft are still, some vintage aircraft are still around that don't have flaps. So the method of coming down, you know, at a greater rate in those is to side slip. So let's have a go at it. So we'll do a gliding descent. We're a bit low to be doing this, but we'll carry on. Okay, so we use the attitude of the aeroplane to maintain speed in the descent. So we're holding about 70 knots and we're turning. And now we are going to push the nose out of the turn. So we're having to do um, tur right aileron and left rudder. And we're coming down, look, in the glide at a thousand feet a minute or thereabouts. We can actually go steeper. We're losing speed in the glide. So we're going to hold about 1200 feet a minute when we get it right. It's quite amazing, isn't it? And that's by using left rudder and right aileron combined as we descend. Okay, I'm going to stop doing that because we're getting low, we're getting to, to a thousand feet. So we'll roll back round to north. So hopefully you found those exercises interesting. So just to recap, we did level turns, level standard, all of these have been standard rate turns. So we did a level turn, just at a cruise throttle level. We did a climbing, or we did, yeah, climbing turns. So again, we set the throttle and then used the attitude to manage speed in the climbing turn. And then we did descending turns and we did gliding descending turns powered descending turns gliding descending turns with flaps and side slipping descending turns so there you go a whole raft of exercises to try out for yourself hopefully you found that interesting and I'll, I'm off to practice them some more and I'll see you again soon <laughs>